And uh, we have in-house our own statistician who, uh, after six rounds, Ben Underwood, he informs us who's going to win the tournament. That's what we all want to know. Well, according to the stats. Well, pre-tournament, Hikaru was the favorite, just slightly more fav favorable than Fabiano Caruana. But as you can see, last year's winner, Sam Sevian, 15.4%. I'm, uh, I'm surprised that Levon and Wesley were down there, but let's see what happened after day one. After day one, Fabi had a perfect score, so of course... <laughs> <laughs> he jumped on the trampoline. Became a huge favorite at 62%. Hikaru, clear second with 22 and pretty much most of the field had 0% chance of Look at that. Gary getting wow. no respect. <laughs> at all, at all. Let's see if Gary could earn some respect after day two. No. <laughs> it's it's brutal. What, 71.7%? Yeah. Because of how they matched up on that tie breaks. Right? Wow, I would have to go to Vegas on that one. Not a, right. Man, to give him a little bit more respect, it just requires one bad result from Fabi. But I guess Fabi's opponents are not super powerful that he's going up against. Mm -hmm. First opponent is Lanier, who's not only MIA here right now, where we can't find him, he's MIA on the chessboard, period, <laughs> in dead last place. Uh -oh. So Fabi's hopeful that he can maybe grab a quick point, put some pressure on Naka, and maybe even distance himself from Nakamura going into the last couple of rounds. He does look like a man with really good chances at the moment to win the tournament.